All right, guys, so here we are back with another quick tip. Call this one cooking at the volcano. If you guys didn't know, some of the food that you have can be cooked right here at the volcano because it's so hot here. All you got to do is throw it on the ground. So we're just going to take five apples here, throw it out on the ground. As you can see, they start to heat up. Soon they'll ignite and then they become baked apples. We'll just pick that up. We can do this with other stuff too. Let's see what else we can throw out here. Take some of our meats. So let's see, we got some raw prime meat, bird thigh, raw meat, and some of the gourmet. We got five pieces of meat. Throw it out there. Let's have a little barbecue. You can see it starts smoking. Catches on fire. And there we go. Everything is cooked, which now provides us with a little bit more hearts when we eat it. As you can see, seared prime steak is now giving us two and a quarter. versus a non-cooked one and a half. So we'll cook some more of these up. Let's take these raw gourmet meats at three hearts a piece. Throw those out there. Let them get sizzling. Catch on fire. And then shortly after Seared gourmet steak. So we'll just check that out here. Seared gourmet steak. Instead of giving us three hearts as a raw food, we are now getting four and a half. Um, this is what I like to do for just heart replenishing replenishing food because this stuff stacks up on top of each other versus a dish that each dish takes up its own inventory space so when I do these little things like this it allows me to make more of the important stuff such as stamina meals haste meals weather resistant meals attack up meals defense up meals the stuff that's really important that takes up an inventory spot is what you want to do. If you're just looking to get stuff to replenish your health, you know, take apples, all these fruits, all that kind of stuff, cook that stuff up because it stacks. Yeah, the apples may only give you uh, one full heart when cooked, but you can stack them up. Versus if you took five apples, stuck them in the cooking pot, and made them, it's all, still only going to give you five hearts, but that dish takes up a spot. So if you did it two times where you had two separate um, dishes of apples you're losing two inventory spots for the same uh, thing that just eating baked apples one at a time is going to do for you so as you can see it can go here take my baked apples we're actually getting three quarters of a heart versus a full half a heart raw we get an extra quarter still and we just sit here and you can just pound them down fill up your hearts this is only taking one inventory slot in my cooked meals. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Save those inventory slots for the meals that matter. The ones that give you the attack up, the defense up, the stamina, what you're looking for. Don't waste your in cook inventory slots with just heart regaining foods. Use this stuff that stacks that you can find all over in the game. You know, killing animals out in the game drops you meat. I've got a video showing you an apple orchard where you can go and literally get over a hundred apples in a matter of a couple minutes. This is Tease Monkey from Tease Monkey Gaming signing off. We'll see you in the next video. One more thing I almost forgot to add for you guys. When you're doing this, you can throw more than five out on the ground at the same time. The most you can do is ten. If you have ten out and try to throw another five, it'll take the other five 
the first five that you put out away, so you'll lose them. So you can throw ten out, let them cook, get it done twice as fast. So you see there, we got our first five ready. These are ready over here. You can pick those up and rinse, repeat. So just remember, you can put ten items out on the ground at a time, no more, or you'll lose the first batch that you put out. Hope that was helpful. See you guys.